The set calc task dims command inside of an sbase block storage calc script is designed to determine how many sparse dimensions you're going to use to launch simultaneous parallel calculation tasks. So let's say your outline has three sparse dimensions at the end of the outline, scenario, version, and year. Now by default, sbase is only going to use one of those. So if year is your last dimension, it's just going to use that dimension to parallelize along. But we know that we don't tend to add scenarios together, and we don't add versions together, and we definitely don't add a scenario for a version for a year together. So we might want to set the calc task dims equal to some number bigger than one, let's just say three. So the syntax is simple. It's just set space calc task dims space, and then a number. That number can be up to however many sparse dimensions I have in my outline. Don't worry if you mess count. If you set the number too high, it's going to drop it down to the number of sparse dimensions. The default, though, is 1, although you will notice at times if SBase thinks your calc task dims is too low, it'll actually increase it for you. It'll actually make a note of it in the SBase application log. If you're noticing that you're getting too many empty tasks and SBase isn't increasing your calc task dims, you can go ahead and be explicit about it. So just use a set calc task dims line. And then if you want to change it within your script, you can. So you could, for instance, at the top of your script, use three task dimensions. Later on, maybe you're specifying both the scenario and the version, so you only want to use the year dimension. You could set calc task dims equal to one. So let me give you a really simple example using Sample Basic. As you'll recall, Sample Basic has two sparse dimensions, product and market. Year measures and scenario are dense, and all the dimensions at the bottom are attribute dimensions. Now, let's say I just want to use the members of the market dimension to parallelize along. I could say set calc task dims one, which as you recall is also the default. And what that'll do is it'll start by launching all of the different states together. Eventually, it's gonna to have to add those states together to get east, west, south, and central, so it's only gonna use four CPUs. And then at the very end, it's gonna to have to add east to west to south to central to get total market. So at that point, even if I have 128 CPUs, it's only going to use one of them. But I could calculate market and product at the same time. All I have to do is say set calc task dims two, and then it's going to use the combination of members from product and market. So yes, it's going to have to do total market, but it can do total market cola while it does total market fruit soda while it does total market uncola. The only time it's ever going to have to go down to a single CPU is when it has to aggregate up to total market, total product.